Uh, well, first of all, uh, very happy to be able to announce today that the Yorkton MLA and our whip, Greg Ottenbright, will be joining Cabinet as the Minister for Rural and Remote Health uh, in the wake of the changes we've had to make uh, with Mr. McMillan's uh, uh, new job that's pending. Um, you know, uh, I, I was involved in recruiting Greg to run. Uh, Ken Cravettes came and, and said, I, you know, I think we've got a pretty good candidate for Yorkton constituency and I had a chance to meet him and his family and agreed immediately and uh, we were grateful to, uh, to uh, see him then carry the standard for our party in, in a couple of uh, general elections and do it very well. Um, and um, since becoming uh, an MLA, he's sort of been a natural leader within our group as, as whip. First of all, there's a leadership role there, but he's taken on a number of specific duties uh, in terms of being a lead secretary, which is why we want you know, the lead secretary process to still be available. Uh, he uh, worked initially in our government to set up what was called the CBO Summit to work with community-based organizations in the province to gather them together to give us advice on how we could better partner with CBOs who are doing so much great work in the province. They had a great piece around recycling as well, worked with the Environment Minister in that regard. And here lately, he's been working on a project that's unknown to the uh, media, at least at this point, uh, until in about a second from now. <laughs> it's, um, uh, it's a collector plate initiative. We're one of the fewer provinces that don't have a collector's plate. And Greg and I share a number of things in common, but one of them is uh, that we like older cars. Uh, Greg has showed poor judgment in liking Chevs uh, instead of Mopars, but uh, still he's been working with the car clubs to develop a collector plate for the province that we'll be able to unveil here soon. And you know, in all of those legislative functions, le legislative secretary functions, he's just demonstrated, I think, the most important skill in, in being a minister, which is the ability to listen. Uh, you know, uh, when we make mistakes in politics, it's often because we aren't doing enough listening and doing too much talking. And in all of those cases, he carefully met with all the stakeholders, listened to them, and then brought forward recommendations. In addition to that, you know, Ken Cravettes is going to be moving on, and so we need that region of the province to be represented in the cabinet as well. And, and uh, Greg, being from Yorkton, uh, uh, will be able to uh, do that, be a voice for that area as well going forward. Just finally, on the rural uh, health issue, uh, obviously, Greg uh, is uh, from Yorkton, Saskatchewan, uh, an urban center by our measure in our province, but the health region that he works with uh, is very much a rural region. Uh, and so he has been a voice for rural health issues already. Uh, and uh, obviously now it'll be more formal, uh, him being the Minister of Rural and Remote Health. We've got some work to do on the file in terms of, uh, you know, continuing to pursue innovative partnerships to build long-term care facilities, uh, to uh, continue to reduce wait times. The doctor recruitment piece will be a top priority, I know, for, for Greg. We've made some progress there, more, many more doctors practicing than before we took office, many more nurses we have in the province than before, but we need to make sure that we're, 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 move, we're getting those services in rural centers as well. Finally, um, what we want the rural and remote health minister to be doing, what I'd like uh, Greg to be doing is continuing to, to listen, to sort of bring this back to where we started. Uh, I think rural Saskatchewan and northern Saskatchewan needs to be able to have a voice for their issues, but more importantly, uh, Greg, the minister, needs to get to those regions so that we are uh, attuned to what their needs are. We have MLAs that report on that regularly, and I think it's additional support then uh, to have a minister providing that input as well. Was there anyone else's name in the mix, or was he 